Americans celebrate freedom and they celebrate motorsports and they're able to do so because of the sacrifice of brave American men and women. We salute all of them everywhere where they're serving today. Our Forces Foundation has been helping our service members since before 9-11. A few years ago, NASCAR decided to step in. They said, you know, we really want to do something here. We've got the most patriotic groups of fans, for sure, of any professional sports, and we want to show our support. We have wounded service members everywhere. They're in every community. We have a lot of people who served and you need to say thanks. So this is NASCAR's way of doing it. My name's Britt Gill. I had 11 years active duty. Uh, I spent one tour in Afghanistan, one tour in Iraq. I actually have 16 service-connected disabilities. Uh, I miss it every day. NASCAR and the Armed Forces Foundation have really made it a fun opportunity for our whole family. It's like a, it's like a dream come true for the kids, so the whole day's been a blast so far. You can't even express how, how great it is. I mean, Ryan Newman for the Army team, he puts it out there every day for us, so that's an incredible experience. And then, you know, you have veterans such as Mike Castell on the 14, who's a jack man. That's unreal to get that kind of experience once you're coming out of the military and stuff like that. So I just want to say thanks to everybody. I've done three deployments. One to Iraq. Before that, in 2006, I was deployed on ship in the Pacific Ocean. And then in 2010, most recently, I was deployed to Afghanistan. Well, I lost my legs in Afghanistan in 2010. And like I said, Armed Forces Foundation introduced me to troops to attract. And what's awesome about it is NASCAR is unique in the fact that you can, you can feel connected to the athletes. You can walk right up to the car, to the crew. No other sport's like that. And when you come to a place like this and a couple hundred thousand people stand to their feet for the national anthem, or everyone you walk by shakes your hand and says thank you, it reassures to you that everything you did, regardless of how the politics fall, uh, you did for a reason and people appreciate it.